Optimistic, responsible, and goal-oriented are just a few of many descriptions about Generation Y. Generation Y, also known as Millennials, are between the ages of 16 through 27, meaning many of them are just entering the workforce. There are about 70 million Americans who were born between the mid-80s to the early 2000s, which is a rough est estimate on the millennial time frame. Generation Y is also referred to as eco-boomers because they are the children of the parents who were the baby boomers. There are many stereotypes and myths that are being spoken about Generation Y, specifically from adults in the writing business. With this, we as people part of Generation Y believe that we need to step up and speak out about how our generation is strong and has the ability to prove that we can do better than previous generations. There are three major sections where writers criticize our generation, education, jobs, and involvement. We are here to correct these myths and show people how Generation Y is and going to be within the next few years. High schoolers today are too lazy to prepare themselves for placement tests. Throw the grenade! No! Ha. I shot him! No, you didn't. Oh my god, how did I die? No, Jake, no! No! God! You suck. I'm playing upside down to challenge myself. You are awful. Wow. Wow. Uh, should we start on this cornerstone? It's Saturday, bro. I don't even know what cornerstone is. You're right. Let's get back at it. Let me pair. I'm gonna get you this time. Pop! Pop! Take! Stop! Knock oh off. my god, you killed me. You got lucky. You got lucky. Uh, all right, well, let's go. That's, that's all skill. Millennials are scoring higher on the SATs, advanced placement tests, and math and science tests. The average SAT score has also increased from 999 to 1022. The number of students who take and then pass an AP test has increased from only 4% in 1985 to over 30% in 2008. Millennials are also the most technologically advanced, with 3 out of 4 teenagers are online, and 93% of that is through the use of computers. Man, these video games are getting boring. You want to watch some Netflix, watch some Breaking Bad, or House of Cards or something? I feel like starting a series. I don't really like watching movies. It sounds awesome, but I think we should really start in that movie thing for Cornerstone. Man, I just said I'm not into movies. All right, man, we got to start this. Let's go. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We okay. should do that. Kids today in high school don't want to go through the hassle in time for applying for college. Alright, I think this dead end job. Can't believe I failed out of college. I should really should have done that cornerstone movie. I wouldn't have failed them. Alright, Jake, I'm taking off. Um, I need to talk to you for a second, dog. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I've been having a lot of complaints. People think that the cook is spitting in their food and you're the only cook we have here. Really? So, I, I, I believe you. I know you're not doing it, but I, I just want you to know. People think that. I just want you to know that, alright? Yeah. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. Spit people's food. 90% of high school students say they plan to pursue some form of education after high school. Millennials are also the most educated generation. Going to college is now seen as a norm and not just meant for the elite. According to a 2002 study done by the Census Bureau Education Attainment, 64% of women and 60% of men attend college after graduating from high school, and 85% of them attend college full time. And because the college attendance rate is so high, it creates a positive competition rate for colleges and jobs thus creating a more educated society. Apply. Man, my boss just caught me spitting people's food. Really? Yeah. You still work at McDonald's? Yeah, for now, I mean, it's a job, it's money, so I need money. What are you doing? Oh, I'm applying for college. I think you should do it with me, too. Really, where are you going? Oh, University of Northern Iowa. Ah, I've been thinking about it, but I'm not really sure how to sign up for it. Sounds like a good school, but uh, yeah, you can sign up with me if you want. I'm doing it right now. Oh, can you show me? Yeah. 
sweet. Most students don't work while attending college. What do you do with your side? Uh, pick it up. You're really buddy. So Sam, did you ever apply for that job in Piazza? No, not yet. Are you going to apply for a job? Don't your parents just pay for everything? Yeah, that's true, I guess. But why do college kids need a job anyway? Yeah, Come all on, Josh. Well, it does is just take away time from playing cards and doing homework. Well, I don't know about the doing homework, but playing cards definitely. Yeah, true. Actually, it's fun on the weekends to have a job. <laughs> All right, Josh, your, your turn. All right. I'm going home. In 2011, the United States Census Bureau showed that out of 19.7 million college students, 72% worked while attaining their college degree. And out of this 72%, 20% worked full time. Hey, we're sitting here with Ben. He's one of the student supervisors at the Piazza, and uh, we just have a couple questions for you, okay? Okay. All right. Um, how many semesters have you been working at the Piazza? I have been working at the Piazza for 10 semesters. How do you like it? Uh, I really enjoy it. It gives me a chance to kind of get away from school, and uh, I was able to meet a lot of new uh, friends and people, so I was able to make new friendships while working. All right. And uh, how many hours do you feel that you work per week? I kind of varied on the semester, but I usually would work around 20-25 hours a week. Alright, alright. And uh, how many students do you feel work at the Piazza now? I'd have to say there's at least 200 students that work at the Piazza. Alright, thank you Ben. Generation Y is disengaged in politics. They are not grateful, they are lazy, flaky, and non-committal. They have low youth turnout. They are the most self-involved generation so far. They also do not connect with others in any way. Generation Y is by far the worst generation. Ah, oh, sweet, a blood drive. What are you doing? Sign up for the blood drive. Help people uh, save their lives. Do no? you want to do it? Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I might do it later. Penny and Taylor already did it. They're overachievers. Alright, alright, alright. You're heartless. According to the Washington Post, nearly four out of five millennials were motivated by the opportunity to work on a cause they are passionate about. 56% were prompted to help out because they got to meet new people who would care about the same cause or issue. 46% said they were inspired to act because they were able to lend pro bono skills and expertise. Hey, what's up? Sign up for Camp Adventure. Oh, what's that? Uh, basically, I'm a camp counselor uh, on military bases around the world. And uh, I count, I'm a counselor for uh, all the kids that are on the bases, so I help them out. That's cool. Yeah. You want to sign up at all? Uh, sure, yeah. I'll give it a shot. I got an extra application here and there's a pencil. Awesome, thanks. 43% of millennials said they'd help out with an organization to broaden their skill set for future professional use. Five out of six know that their main reason for joining with a nonprofit was because they are passionate about the organizational cause. 51% stated they are interested in the networking benefits from volunteering. Millennials are more environmentally and socially conscious, less materialistic, more community-minded and less cynical than the baby boomer generation. Millennials self-identify as more tolerant of different opinions, sexualities, ethnicities, and cultures than previous generations. They don't think race is as big of a deal when it comes to determining elections, and we want to help our country more by working for the government. 
Looking back at all of the truths about Generation Y, we now know that millennials are scoring higher on SATs, advanced placement tests, and math and science tests. 61% of 13 through 25 year olds feel personally responsible for making a difference in the world, and out of 19.7 million college students, 72% worked while obtaining a college degree, and out of that 72%, 20% had worked full time. For Generation X, they are self-reliant slash individualistic and accept diversity, whereas Generation Y celebrates diversity and are self-inventive slash individualistic.